Okay, as you might imagine, step one is to gather pine needles. You'll see I have a lot of pine needles on the ground here that have fallen from this lovely, believe it's a Japanese stone pine. It's beautiful. And so, really all you need to do is just gather up some needles. And these needles, you're going to have to move, dog. These needles can be, um, well, they're obviously going to be dirty. They're going to have stuff on them, you know, dirt and probably bird poo and all sorts of stuff. But you're not going to worry about that because you are going to wash these. Wash them in soapy water and rinse them and dry them. It's a nice big handful. And when, by the time you're done cleaning these up, they're going to be very nice. So, let's go clean up some pine okay, I've got my pine needles in, and I'm going to use just some regular Dawn dishwashing liquid. And that is very hot water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up my sink with this hot soapy water. And I'm going to let these puppies soak. I don't know maybe 15 minutes or so. Then we're going to go through the... We're going to rinse them a little bit and um, then we're going to dry them. And these, they clean up really well. You know, they're just... They're not... Like this particular batch didn't have you know, much in the way of anything too nasty. I didn't see any bird poo or anything like that. Mostly it was just you know, sitting in the dirt. They'd been rained on a bunch of times. Um, so we will let that... All right, these have been soap. washed and they're soaking in rinse water there. And I'm just going to, um, to take them out, rinse them a little bit, and lay them out on this towel here uh, to kind of drain and like I said I didn't have to um, to soak these in hot water because they were already wet from just having been out in the in the rain for a few weeks you'll notice that they're an interesting um, let me turn this off you'll notice that they're an interesting um, kind of multicolored dark and light. That just happens from being out in the out in the weather. They pick up weird coloration and they lose lose coloration. So you get a really interesting almost like tortoise shell sort of color. So anyhow I'm going to finish rinsing all of this and getting them on this this towel that I'm going to then wrap up and we will go to the next step. Pine needles need to be wet, well pliable when you um, when you work with them and uh, the best way to make them pliable if you're using dried pine needles like I am here is you know first you wash them and dry them and then if they are if they're not pliable you know if you can't twist them and curl them without having them break and you'll you can test a few to figure that out um, what you'll need to do is put them in a pan and pour boiling water on them um, cover them in boiling water and let them soak for 24 hours. Now, these particular pine needles are very pliable because they've been out in the rain forever, so they're wet and they're pliable. So I'm not going to go through the um, boiling water soak uh, with them. Um, but once you're done rinsing or, or done soaking, it's pretty much the same thing. You lay out a towel, um, kind of give them a final little rinse under the water, lay them out on the towel, you know, all in the same so that they're all you know, lengthwise, not all just a big jumble. And, um, you know, you roll up the towel and you, you kind of to drain them just a little bit. And then you're ready to, to start uh, crafting. If you want to prepare some pine needles for later, um, you do all of that stuff. And then instead of, um, uh, you know, working on your basket, you just go ahead and put your, your rolled up towel. Um, you might want to wrap it in some... Um, you know, that plastic wrap stuff, 
or put it in a plastic bag and stick it in your refrigerator and they will stay um, nice for, you know, quite a few days um, in the refrigerator. But we're going to go directly from the wash and the rinse right to the tutorial. So, come back for more.